Hello one and all, I'm Pallyams and welcome to Hearthstone League of Explorers. Today we're taking a look at Wing 2, Alderman. Um, hopefully this will go well, yeah. I'm looking forward to seeing what it has in store for me. I'm glad to finally be getting around to this stuff. Hello, explorer. I'm Bran Bronzebeard, the League's founder. I've got a lead on the headpiece of the staff. It's somewhere here in Ulderman. Great. Let's do it. And our first... Ulderman's infested with trogs. We'll have to fight through them to reach the headpiece. Anything but trogs. So, uh, enemy minions cost two more. I mean, it swaps. Okay. Um... Is it fair to say that Hunter's a good bet? No? I don't know what would be good here. Um, I'm gonna go Hunter. Always go Hunter when in doubt. I mean, there's no real other option for it, really, is there? And we're ready to take on Scarvash. So, our opening hand, we want to have, like, a lot of weedy minions. I don't think we'll have we'll get to play anything turn one. So I assume it will stop us from playing anything. Right. Scarbash was a wee trog last I was here. Now he's bigger, stupider, and uglier. Trog now his will cross more, so I don't know how like how like much it swaps, but we're gonna get a haunted creep because it's a quite sticky minion. So it'll work out well for us. And here we're lucky enough to have an animal companion as a choice. Just because I feel that that's like best value to uh, pick. Given that it's unaffected. Oh, did it? It's enemy spells, is it? Oh, okay, I see how it works now. I'm unsure what's the best thing to do here. Until I've seen that second These mithril runes contain guard abusive. They must take back to the Titans. Focus, Bran. Thanks for that narrative. Um I think we're gonna just take him out. Play the control game, I think. Maybe that's a like it'd been better to not, but I think we keep a lid on what he plays, and that would probably be the best way to go about his game. We'll get through it better, I feel. Now, it might have been smart there to go for the uh, explosive trap. But maybe not. I don't know. So he's putting a bit of a detriment on himself, and I have got on field probably enough to be fair. Yeah, I have. Cool. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. That's the kind of game we want, to be fair. We've got to hop in a minecart, I can't wait. I'm excited. This mine shaft leads straight to the oh, I bet this is going to be like the uh, temple escape. The I like piece. these; these are fun. Now we got to get out of here before we get squished. Not re-wrapping moments. I don't know how to feel about that. Watch out, we're being oh, chased. cool! We got a load of. It's completely like. Different thing, maybe? No. Now, before I do anything hasty, I should probably see what these do. Right, so nothing crazy. I'm gonna take it out. And we'll play a parrot. I think that's a smart thing to do. Not Ginny. Hey, up. It's debris. Uh, 
Whoa, how can we not start with this? Really? I feel we need a board before we can start drawing stuff. So let's do that. Oh, damn. And we'll go from there. Let's get rid of them both. Play another power. I don't know if I'm gaining mana here or not. I don't think I am. Somehow. Right. I don't think you want to be taunting them. Somehow, I just feel that that might be a bad idea. More debris, and a lumbering golem. I feel like we're doing an okay job here. I don't know what situation you'd want to draw, but there you go. This is a blast. Right, so we have to take this out and we'll take this down to three while we're at it. So that's that build. Okay. So now that can attack. Um Shall we make it a 50-50? I think we should. That went quite well. We're keeping a steady head here uh, over the game. The game's going steady. That's the kind of game I want. Okay, I suppose you have to draw three cards at this point. Hey, oh, boom. Maybe I should have drawn, because these booms, these are going to be so cool. And you know what? I'll just gain some health. One. That's better, isn't it? Did it. And we get a team spider. Does it bother anyone else that spiders are technically not beasts? No? Just me? Well, we're all ready now for Orchidas, who has the ability of summon a zero two statue to both people. Okay. That sounds fine. Um, when in doubt go with Hunter, I believe that's the saying. But then again, I feel like Shaman might be a lot more fun. Shaman just seems like well first it would just give me a bit of variety in the uh wing to what I played. But I just feel it might work better given how many zero twos we're going to be getting. Early on, this isn't bad actually, it gives me a lot of utility cards. Now it's not smart, smart in terms of giving us any early plays, but because of that, I'm okay. And there's my totem golem, so I'm sorted now really. I've got a lot of answer cards. If you weren't too busy burying you in stone. And here's what I can get some early advantage with totem golem. My question, of course, is what is the point of his statue? He's obviously got something. Ah, I was waiting for the boss. Okay. Now we know what's going on. So, what we want to do is hit one out and hopefully get a healing tome. 
That is probably the worst totem it could have gave me. And here comes his flame totem. So he's, he's going with that kind of theme. That is a great card. For now though, there's no better card than this for the situation. Because it's going to allow me to clear and leave me loads of stuff. But I am worried actually, thinking about it, that I'm going to be just have a whole board full of urban statues. So I suppose I need to be working on doing something about that. Did you bring some fish? Oh, what a beautiful card. This is like the perfect totem for this situation. So at this point I just go push. Into another. And I can just bring out our pilot to tread, I suppose. Hit him again. And basically it's gonna be hard for him to get around this now. Wanted. What's he gonna give me? Hellfire. <coughs> and he gets an arcane explosion, okay. But it does give me the chance to at least clear the board a bit. Ready for my big play where I want a healing turn for a perfect turn. Oh, well, I suppose you can't win them all. Still, I'm going to take a massive chunk out of this hole. And I've got more than enough answers for if he was to come back with any kind of a uh, counter attack. I've got Hellfire for the board clear, I've got two hexes. Oh, that's not great, but that's okay. I think I win from here. <laughs> Sorted. Boom. No problem, Archie Dash. What, what are you thinking, you know? You can't be like taking me on. Fierce monkey. It's my fierce monkey. Reliquary Seeker. Now, I haven't actually seen this. Uh, if you have six other minions, gain 4-4. Four, four. That'll be why I haven't seen it, because that's actually awful. But it's very unlikely that's going to happen. And now, I get Ran Brahms beer, which uh, actually I'm quite looking forward to testing out an excavated evil, which I've seen a lot of uh, play from. So uh, that sounds cool. They found the second piece. My plan is nearly complete. He sounds like he's like really um, evil. Also, I like the fact that it's like improving the staff as we go along. That's cool. So cool. Uh, so we have got the class challenges. Let's do them as well while we're here. So we've got Druid, who will give us a mounted raptor with a death rattle of some of that random one cost minion. Quite cool. Oh, I hate it when I place horrible traps, don't you? No, just me. I'm, I'm glad I'm like finally started to catch up. I feel it's like being like some sort of like. What's a good analogy? Um, being a dad trying to catch up with the slang of the youth of today. I think it'll, that's a great way of describing what I'm doing right now with Hearthstone. Because like two months, that's like ages. That's like years in this game. Uh, so we don't want to play that, we want to start off with our jeweled scarab, who's going to give us something. What's he going to give us? Um, Druid of a Flame is going to be my choice. It's for poison I have chosen. Yeah you are. So this turn, You know what, I'm going to keep him. 
gonna keep my little jewel scarab at the behest of two damage to the face. Next time I've got choices. What am I going with? Um from Tomb Spider? It'd be funny if that was a uh, reason trap actually. But we'll test it first. It's none of the usuals. Um deal one damage to a random enemy, so this is kind of our pick, and I'm worried it'll be a snipe. So we can get another one. That's like value in the hole. So what we're thinking is, is it going to be a um, snake trap? I feel like I'd want to avoid that snake trap, so we'll do this. Ha! <clears throat> now... Ooh, uh, this is actually quite problematic. Fair battle fight. Two damage to a random enemy. This is tricky. How do I go about this card? Um, let's start with a tomb spider. We'll get another savage combatant top of it. And we'll play a toad. And we'll hit for one. Different way. I am quite worried about that uh, elemental. We're going to have to do something about him. But it seems like we're okay for now. Okay. I'm trying to think what else it could be then. Hmm. Tricky to say. Bathe in flames. I'm trying to think what all the traps it's going to be. Oh, I found out it's dark trap. I totally wasn't even aware of that, so uh, it must be a new card. That's cool. And he's taking seven damage. This couldn't go better. He is clearing, so that's something. Oh crap. Right. So let's start by taking that out. Um, we don't want to be playing that. Play this. Play this. Play this. I guess it's a good turn because then we can take Raptor out. It leaves just that awkward 5 6 to deal with. On a turn when we can't really play minions. Huh. Um. I think we have to do it this way. I haven't got quite enough for uh, this. Oh, it's attack. I was always thinking it was um, the armor. Fair enough. I could have probably done that a bit more damage through. Okay, well we'll ignore it completely and just hit. Then next time we could win. We could have Savage Raw maybe and won that way. But I just wanted to play this. I wonder if that's like part of a new set or it's not even a card. That's another win for us. So that's good to see. One class challenge down. 
want to go. I went for a good video, I think. Maybe. I'll just keep from older man. I quite like this one. I feel it's... It has a lot of, um... Playability. So I feel that Sacred Trial is like going to be worthwhile here. Competitive Spirit, I really... Well, it does actually, it works here. Mo this hand I'm fine with, and Bolvar early on will mean I can get some real attack going on him. So do we start with Sacred Trial or Competitive Spirit? Go Competitive Spirit. Just because it means that we can um, get an early lead here. It, d it was, I mean, you could have said well, I could have left it, and then later on I could have got more out of it, but this gives me early advantage, so I'm quite happy about that. Now, here's a problem. I've, I've got to work around his sacred trial, but I honestly don't care. Reporting for duty. Um, attack it. I'm going to assume it must be a competitive spirit of his own. That's a bit laughable, isn't it? So, make one of these super strong. The battle. And then go from there. I basically got it all under control here. Ouch! I forgot you had that. Let's take him out. He's up to six. Should have really played out the other side, but it seems he's still shattering. Take that out. Well, I think it's time for Bolva. Let's see him get round that. Eight attack. Looking to sneeze out. Wanted, dead or alive. Right, so he's going to give a buff now. Is it going to be to Bolvar? I mean, imagine if we have a super zooped up Bolvar here. Oh, wow, look at him. What a killer card. Best Bolvar ever. Boom. That is a pretty impressive Bolvar, if I do say so myself. We did it! We did the um, wing and we got all the challenges done. So that's good. Uh, thank you for watching, guys. I hope you've enjoyed that one. Stay tuned for the next one. I think I'm doing it on a weekly basis of Wednesdays, I believe, alongside Hearthstone Half Hour. Um, but yeah, hope you're enjoying this uh, catch up of the wings if you're watching it. If not, um, never mind, eh? Never mind. Uh, as I say, thank you for watching, and good bye!